Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Viper ROM for the HTC One by Team Venom. This has to be one of the most customizable ROMs for the HTC One, hands down. Uh, so we're going to get into the install. I'll have a full review later on for you guys. This is just the install. So first thing you want to do is unlock the bootloader. I'll be sure to include a link to my guide in the description. You'll also need to have a custom recovery installed and root. I'll have links to guides for those. Also in the description, you'll need the ROM itself, and then you'll also need the latest update file for the ROM. I'll include links to those in the description as well. So everything you need to know will be in the links in the description. So the first thing we'll want to do is go ahead and power down the device. And then we'll boot into recovery. So the way that we'll boot into recovery is hold the volume down button and power until the bootloader comes up. Once the bootloader comes up, we'll scroll down to recovery and select that with the power button. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a backup of your ROM. For some reason, you get on the Viper ROM and you decide it's just not for you. Uh, for whatever reason, you just don't like it and you want to go back to the stock ROM, you'll always have that stock rooted backup. Uh, so the way you're going to back up is just click the backup button and then swipe to back up. Give this about 10 or 15 minutes. It is backing up your entire system. So all your apps, all your data, any text messages, emails, phone calls received or outgoing uh, that you have made will be backed up. So basically your entire phone's system, operating system, and all of your data will be backed up. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to jump ahead to the install. Uh, first thing you want to do is go to wipe. Swipe factory reset. This is wiping your data cache and your Dalvik cache. As soon as that's finished, we'll go to, uh, we'll go back, go to install, and we'll find our download folder. If you've downloaded it directly to your phone, that's where it will be. So we'll go ahead and select download, and then you're gonna first install the Viper One 1.0.0 zip, and you'll be able to install that update later. But you want to make sure that you install the 1.0.0 zip file first. So we'll go ahead and install that. Swipe to flash. And this is just going to boot up the Aroma installer. So we'll agree with the terms of use and go to next. And we'll say next. This is giving you all the requirements. Hit next again. And then you'll select what you want to do here. We're going to install Viper 1. Then it gives you a few options there. And we'll install without wiping. Okay, this says you can customize your installation. We're going to go ahead and select the red theme. And we'll remove scents. And we'll select for removing applications. So this gives you the ability to go in there and de-bloat your ROM a little bit. So we'll get rid of Flickr, get rid of uh, Dropbox, TalkBack, FaceLock. We don't need HTC Skins, Location, Watch, Notes, Gallery. Basically, I'm going to go through here and select all the HTC bloatware. You can choose to keep them if you want. That's kind of the beauty of this ROM is you can kind of make it what you want it to be. Okay, and you'll select your launcher here. I prefer Apex. All information has been collected for installation. Click Next to start the install. So it'll go ahead and install the ROM. Give this about five minutes to install. Okay, so when it's finished, it tells you that it did install the ROM correctly and that it's successful. So we'll go ahead and select Next. And we're not going to reboot now. So we'll deselect that and we'll click Finish. Okay, and then we'll go back and we'll go ahead and, and install that update. So this will put us on 121. So just give that a few minutes. This one is pretty quick. And it'll just run the update really quickly and then we can reboot our device. Okay, so that is finished. We'll go ahead and select next. And now we'll reboot the system. So guys, that has been the guide for flashing the Viper ROM, the HTC One. 
If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the HTC One. The full review will be coming very soon to this channel, so stay tuned for that. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.